does the the team that Cameroon could have and the team that Cameroon has right now. So with the team that Cameroon could have, why don't you guys have it? I mean, why don't you guys have like Joel Embiid or Pascal Siakam? I would just like to know why. Kenneth Kaji, uh, Cameroon international, played for Bursa School now. Um, started basketball when I was 15. Started in France at Port Aires. Then I went to America to IMG Academy. Uh, went to college at University of Florida, then transferred to Miami. Uh, played in Miami for three years. After that, I went through the draft process and I've been playing professional for seven years now. Kenny, Cameroon finished with four wins and two losses in AfroBasket qualifiers, finishing second to Cote d'Ivoire. How would you evaluate the team's performance in qualifiers? Um, it was good. I mean, we qualified, so that was the goal. Um, we could have done better with winning at least one game against Ivory Coast, but, um, you know, we, we got the goal, we, we got what we wanted to do, so we just get the game ready for Afro basket now and uh, I think that we can get better offensively, defensively as a team, but that's, you know, up to the, the training staff and the coaches to find what adjustment to, to make and everything, but I'm pretty happy with our performances in Cameroon. Well, I want to dive a little more into Cameroon. So uh, let me start off with what separates your team, the Cameroonian team, the rest of Africa? In the Cameroonian team with right. players we wish to have or Cameroonian players that we have, you know, like the, well, the team I mean, we have I mean, now? I, 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 would like, I would like to give you that option. It's general. You tell me. What would you like to tell us today? Because, I mean, if we have a full roster, like, there's nobody beating us. Like, they, they're always going to be very good. Uh, <laughs> always going to be very difficult. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have uh, an NBA champion. We have a MVP, because I, I think he's going to win MVP this year. Um, you have a yearly player who is doing pretty well now. And we got a couple of players that are playing in uh, regular leagues, but that are talented, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just need coaching, they just need the, the, the right people around them, and they will flourish. So I think that our team, compared to Senegal, uh, Angola, Nigeria, we have the same talent. We just have better organizations. That's how I see it. Uh, for now, the team we have, um, I would say the same thing to an extent. Like, you know, it's talented players, uh, they can make some noise. Obviously, we are lacking at some positions, but I think that if you find the right structure and the right coach, we, this is a team that can easily go to, you know, quarterfinals, semifinals. And then when you get there, uh, you figure out, <laughs> you figure out there, you know? Well, I mean, I mean if that's... Oh, you go, sorry. <laughs> That's very interesting, the answer that she gave us. You, 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 you told us that there's the, the team that Cameroon could have and the team that Cameroon has right now. So with the team that Cameroon could have, why don't you guys have it? I mean, why don't you guys have like Joel Embiid or Pascal Siakam? I would just like to know why. Well, I talked to Pascal. Pascal, he's, he wants to come, you know. It's, uh, it's just a matter of time, I think, with him. He has, you know, his father was a, a, a basketball fan. He lost his dad, and it's a, a promise that their whole family made to their their dad that they will represent the, their country in basketball one day. That's why I think in 2015, when I was playing, I was playing with his brother, uh, Boris Siaka, who's a, a good basketball player, or he was a good basketball player, but really just came to the national team because of his dad and the promise that he made to. Um, I think he will come. Joel Embiid is more complicated. Like, I mean, you have to pay a hundred million of dollars of insurance. That's difficult to, you know, to pay for a federation. Yeah, like, if, you, if you think about like the Nigerias and the Senegals, like yeah. their NBA players aren't in the MVP candidate. Exactly, right? that's what I'm saying. Offense. No offense. And they don't have, um, they don't have something like Joel's got a history of injuries. Exactly. Like there's, there's no way, I'm, I'm just going to say it for you, Kenny. There's no for way sure. that Joel is ever going to play for Cameroon. 
for sure. Like this, just that insurance, you cannot pay yeah. 150 million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you yeah. can't no pay it's contract no out. So, yeah. so okay. we're we're try with Pascal, and then we got other players that are coming up. You know, we got so many. Players. We just got a Cameroonian kid that just won the the NCAA tournament with a uh, Baylor. Uh, we got so many kids coming up, so. I want to go back and just clarify what you just told us. So the reason why Joel can't play is because of money, the insurance money. That's it, plain and simple. That's most most things are about money. money. Is, is that it, Kenny? No, I, I would like Kenny. I was asking you, Kenny. Can you can you give me that answer? I'm pretty sure it's about it's about money because I mean, I'm sure he wants to play too. You know, and like like uh, Coach Lee said, he has too many injuries. So you have to pay. You have to pay that money. Like it's difficult to say, like, oh, okay, uh, we'll pay you guys less. But I mean, he he never got injured or never been injured. Uh, we know his job. Like he has no risk of injuries in this tournament. Like they can't do that. They got to pay, they got to pay the full insurance, which is impossible. 